Well, more than a thousand people are expected at Remote Area Medical's second Oklahoma expedition this weekend. The event brings together volunteer health professionals to provide free health care to those in need. To fill us in on all the details is Trace Savage. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Angie. Yeah, yeah. Now, what kind of health care is provided? We're doing uh, dental, vision, and limited medical care. We'll do women's health, pap tests, and mammogram vouchers through the OU Breast uh, Center. Um, but mostly dental and vision, that's primarily the reason people will come to this event and, and wait overnight to get a number and get in the door. Uh, we'll do cleanings, fillings, or extractions, um, and we'll do eye exams with the ability to make glasses on site with RAM's mobile vision unit. That's great. Yeah, so RAM stands for Remote Area Medical, and it's actually a national thing. This is the Oklahoma version. Right. They're a group out of Knoxville, Tennessee, and um, I work with them to coordinate our Oklahoma events. This is the second one. We did this in July 2010, uh, and this weekend, August 25th and 26th, um, RAM National will bring out their mobile equipment. We will have their 50 mobile dental chairs all set up. Um, and as well as about 12 uh, to 14 lanes of vision refraction, and then the mobile vision lab, which is built in the back of an old uh, uh, tractor trailer that carried uh, Indianapolis 500 cars. Wow. That will uh, that has lanes to make glasses, How um, cool. which are all uh, frames are all donated by like How Walmart cool. and, and things like that. Oh, that's so. neat. So why is this event so important? Well, I mean, a lot of people need access to health care. About 600 to 650,000 Oklahomans are uninsured. That's uninsured without basic medical care. A lot of people don't have dental insurance or have or any vision coverage. Um, so if you, if you take in that number, if we're going to see 1,600 this weekend, you know, that's really just a drop in the bucket. But for those folks, it can help them uh, see for the first time, which in a long time, which maybe gets them a driver's license, which maybe gets them a better job. That's true. Um, it can help fix uh, what might be um, an embarrassing uh, smile or something like that, or helps people see their grandkids. Or, you know, in in terms of women's health, uh, in 2010, we um, found at least a, a dozen or so folk uh, women who had. Uh, possible pre-cervical lesions and wow. things like that. Wow. So we referred to OU to help get them coverage That's for their incredible. Uh, possible cancer situation. Yeah. Right, yeah, so who can come? Uh, anybody, it's first come, first serve, uh, no income qualifications, uh, no immigration, check. we just don't really deal with any of that stuff. Um, Folks need to get in line uh, probably about 3 a.m. That's when we'll wow. start giving out numbers. I guarantee you there'll be people there earlier wow. than that. Um, we'll let people in the door at 6 a.m. If I could just say that uh, it's at the State Fairgrounds, the mm -hmm. Oklahoma Expo Hall, which is right by the Space Needle. Yes. Now, if you're a patient wanting to come, you'll want to come on the north side of the fairgrounds, northwest 10th Street, just west of May Avenue. There's a stoplight called uh, 89er Drive. Yeah. And it's where the old ballpark used to be. And so if you turn south on 89er Drive, you won't be able to miss it. But that's the entrance to take. If you come in from another way, it, you'll kind of have to wind around. But that's the one to take is west of May on 10th Street. And you're still looking for volunteers to help. Uh, well, we're, we're doing really, really good. I, I, we have a great number of general volunteers and, and students and nurses and things like that. We're looking for a couple more dentists and optometrists or ophthalmologists, uh, maybe Sunday if anybody's interested in coming out. So like you said, it's at the State Fairgrounds and it runs from when to when? Uh, Saturday morning, uh, August 25th, mm -hmm. uh, we'll start seeing patients at 6 a.m. And we'll run through, uh, we'll stop that day around 5 okay. and then Sunday the same wow. kind of hours. Oh so my goodness. Our website is yes. ramok.org. If you, uh, there's patient information and volunteer information there Perfect. on that site. Perfect. Yeah, that's great. Obviously, it helps a great need. Um, you know, and like you said, the health of, 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 of individuals who don't have health care, it's so important to meet that need. But also, things like, you know, if just fixing your smile, fixing, you know, it, whether you need eyeglasses and things like that, that can just improve your lifestyle. So that's wonderful. Yeah, we and we also want people to be able to get looped into continuing care, yes. whether it's at a community health center or another free clinic or anything like that. You know, we want to try to get people where they're they can go because yeah. the system can be difficult to navigate. Sure, sure. That is great. Your website one more time? Uh, RAMOK.org. R-A-M is in medical, OK.org. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, Angie.